to an officer-involved shooting on the side of I-10 last week. Today, we saw the first images leading up to that shooting. News 5's Ashley Knight was at the press conference this afternoon and has the latest. Officials showed us video taken by a witness with their cell phone. Now, we were not allowed to record that video, but we are allowed to show you a freeze frame of it, which they say helps show the feeling of the situation. This picture shows 35-year-old Jonathan Victor moments after he emerged from his SUV after being involved in a single vehicle accident. In the video officials showed us, Victor opened the passenger side door and immediately went into this tactical position, looking as if he was holding a gun, but officials say he was holding something entirely different. Mr. Victor exited his vehicle with a windbreaker wrapped around a black fanny pack on his hand. He aggressively pointed that at the deputies in a shooting style stance. Deputies called out to Victor to drop his weapon and put his hands up. Victor ignored these commands, did not say a word, and started walking closer to the deputy standing on the other side of the fire truck. At that point, the deputy backed up, trying to give Victor more time to surrender. When Victor was standing about 8 to 10 feet away from the deputy, the deputy shot Victor four times. He was later pronounced dead at the hospital. The Baldwin County deputy had to make a decision to end the situation to not put any nobody's else life in danger. It was later revealed that Victor did not have a gun, but officials did see cuts on his wrists and believed he was actively trying to commit suicide while inside the SUV before deputies arrived on the scene. Now they will not be releasing that video until after they've shown it to the family of the driver first. And the deputy who took that fatal shot remains on paid administrative leave until further notice. For now at the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office in Robertsdale, Ashley Knight, News 5. Now, officials have requested a toxicology report from the medical examiner's office. Officials have spoken over the phone with Victor's family and the attorney representing them. They say their thoughts and prayers go out to his family.